another transfer season has come and gone. Just like that. And you know what? I think we may have just about come out stronger. We've made some clever additions. we strengthened areas of the team that needed strengthening. And you know what? The fire may have taken its time to get built, uh, burning. But I think we've had a good window. Let's have a chat. Hello, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a video just looking over our January window and business. Um, look, the January window slammed shut yesterday. Millwall making three additions to their squad in the process of January, um, throughout January. And look, we haven't got a striker, yes, but the intent was there to go and get a striker. Do you get what I'm coming from? And I think we've had a decent window in bringing in the additions of Oliver Burke, Sensible Edition, Duncan Watmore. I think, yes, injury concerns, but um, he's been playing regularly for Middlebrot, and I think he will come straight into the same team, um, team at the weekend against his former club, Sunderland. I do think he will slip straight in. Um, but yeah, and a young, hungry prospect in Amaku were coming in, in the first, uh, on the 1st of January. So overall, look, I think we've had a decent window. I think we've recruited in positions that we needed to strengthen in, in terms of the wide areas. Yes, we haven't got a striker, but... If the intent, someone said it yesterday, and I totally agree. The, uh, I don't think Burke was on the list of potential incomings. He was on that list, I do believe. I don't think it was a panic signing. I do think he was on that, on that list. And I think the intention, I, I totally agree with what someone said yesterday. I forgot where I heard it now. But I think the intention was was to get what more through the door and Nisbet. But if you've been living under a rock, Nisbet failed his medical and this is why we turned our attention to Oliver Burke. And I still think that Oliver Burke will be a good addition. I think he will. Does he improve the first 11? Um, questions are out. Questions are out on the fence. Potentially, he's lightning quick. But I do think he in um, proves the 23. The 23. He will make our squad bigger. Um, he knows the group, knows the manager, so I think that's a sensible signing. Um, but I think realistically, it's not rocket science. I think the intention was to get Nisbet through the door and um, Duncan Watmore. But obviously, for whatever reason, Nisbet didn't happen. We kept our money, so we got that to spend in the summer. I'm hearing... Um, that we actually got this um, Duncan potentially on a free or for a very relatively no low fee, so good business. And I think the addition of it, sighting the inciting striker in um, Maku, I think he will slip straight in. There's rumours that he is going to go and play for the under twenty threes, but I don't think he will be. I think he will be in and around the squad. Um, look, yeah, look, we can focus on getting a striker through the door in the January window, in the summer window, along with maybe a left back. But we don't really need a little, we don't need a striker for now, really. Because we got Sledgehammer that can play up front, or we got Burke can do a job right up there, so can Duncan Watmore. So the overall I think it's been a good window. Um we haven't sp spent tons of money. We've let some players, i.e. um Benicophobia go that was on a big contract. There's a couple of ones that I wouldn't have got rid of, such as maybe Topologe and Hayden Muller, I would have kept them. Um Charlie Creswell is staying, so that's another option, makes our squad bigger. Um, so yeah, look, overall, I think it's a good window, and we look forward um, to seeing how these progress and develop 
over the next few months, especially Burke and Duncan Watmore. Um, longer term, Middlebrough fans weren't happy with his departure, especially to a direct rival I'm hearing. So I think he is going to be excited um, excited to watch. He's good on the ball. And look, we can get our striker and our left back in the summer. we still got our money to spend. So overall, hats off to the people above. And we look forward to kick on. Coming in lines.